How do you explain this? Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I work as a ghost tour guide in one of the most haunted cities in the southern United States, Wilmington, North Carolina. Follow along with me. I'm going to show you some of the most haunting photos captured on my ghost tour, and then we're going to go back to those locations during the day to see if we can figure out what went bump in the night. I'm Rebecca, the ghost guide. For this episode, I will be presenting not just one, but three photographs all taken from different guests on different cell phone cameras during different times of this past year. The most recent one being this one with the scaffolding, as they're replacing the roof of the Bergwin Wright house. This little bright green dot is an entity I've started to refer to as my friend. As far as I know, I'm the only guide on the tour who it comes out to visit. Once a group watched from two different phone cameras as it hovered down the stairs, down this walkway, through this front gate and hovered beside me as I was standing right here. Eventually it hovered up the sidewalk and disappeared crossing Third Street. Now, did any of my guests on the tour snap a photo? No, believe me, I was angry, but I guess that's what Chuck does, but I'm still angry about it. Let's go back to the photos I have. At first glance, you may want to write them off as a lens flare from the light, but take a closer look. These little lights, in all the times I've seen them, are not circular. In this photo, you'll see that it's not a circle, and in this photo, it is too close to the light to be a flare, but even seems to be moving through the window in an otherwise still photo. Over on TikTok and Instagram, where I originally posted these photos, people weren't really sure what to say about these little glows. That said, the consensus was that they certainly were not light flares due to their color and variation. One person claimed to see a face, and due to an old trend, some claimed to see Peppa Pig. Don't know what to say about that. Where should you go if you're looking for my friend? This is the Bergwin Wright House, built in 1778. It is one of the oldest still standing structures in Wilmington, North Carolina. What's the coolest thing about this home? It's open for tours. Since we're here, let's go up to the top stairs and nearby window to see if there's anything to cause this. I don't see anything. Do you? So what's the story behind this house? The house itself was built by John Bergwin, who also used it as a rental property as he, a merchant, was not often in town. Locals in town will also refer to this as the Cornwallis House, as this house temporarily served the English General Cornwallis during the end of the American Revolution, while the port city was still occupied by the English. After this time, Bergwin lived here on and off, then, a little while longer, the Bergwin family. It was then sold, and the Wrights purchased the home, hence the Bergwin Wright name that it still carries today. In this house, those who would regularly be moving in and out could be John Bergwin, those who rented here, the English army, soldiers, or those from the Wright family. So who could my little friend be? Any of these many people could fit the bill. As far as spirits and hauntings go, I don't believe this is a residual energy or an energy that regularly occurs on a daily schedule, so to speak. I don't come to this location every night at the same time, and this spirit seems to pick and choose whether to approach myself and the groups I'm with. Maybe this entity gets excited the more excited the group is and gets bolder. And as I mentioned, so far, it has only been captured on my tour. Maybe this ghost is as excited about seeing me as as excited as I am to see them. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. As I don't have an answer on who this is, we do have clues as to a personality and their enjoyment of the occasional early evening stroll up to 3rd Street. Whatever the case, I'll keep you posted as time goes on. And as always, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Rebecca, the Ghost Guide. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow along for more, please consider subscribing down below. I've got a lot of really cool content that's about to come out, not to mention travel content as well. So I'm going to be traveling to some different cities and telling ghost stories from there. Thank you again for following on TikTok, on Instagram, and for emailing me stories, personal accounts, and 
photos and videos. I love seeing what you have to share with me. Thank you so much. And lastly, if you would consider contributing to me making these videos, each one takes about 10 hours for me to do. And this is on top of all of my day jobs. Anything that you can contribute means less day job for me and more videos for you. Thank you so much.